Welcome back to My Way's special episode on the Great Barrier Reef. Let's now journey to the small town of Airlie Beach, the gateway to the spectacular 74 islands that make up the famous Whit Sundays region of the reef. And for this master reef guide, it only took one chance encounter to change his life forever. Jumped in for the first time snorkeling here on the fringing reefs of the Whit Sundays and swam with a turtle. I think that first encounter of the Great Barrier Reef really triggered a passion and a love for it that I now get to utilise and enjoy every single day. My name is James and this is my slice of paradise. There's something about the Whit Sundays that tropical blue azure waters, that white silica sand. You've got the amazing greens and blues of fringing reefs and then almost prehistoric looking islands. Grew up in England, so it's a long way away from a place like this and never thought I'd be working here. I was very keen swimmer as a kid. I was the head lifeguard on Eastbourne Beach for seven seasons, which is as glamorous as it sounds. Um, <laughs> When I finally got to Australia, I knew I wanted to get out on the reef. Found myself in Airlie Beach, checked into a hostel for four nights. That was five and a half years ago, and I never looked back. I would just say a very quick hello to everyone, let you know the plan. James is now eco-manager, skipper, and master reef guide for ocean rafting, where he takes guests to all the best spots the Sundays has to offer, including the famous Whitehaven Beach. Probably now's the time to mention that you have booked yourselves onto a tour called Ocean Rafting, all right? This is no air-conditioned ferry ride where you're sipping on cups of tea. You guys, we're out there to have some fun. It's fast, fun and diverse. And it's not just the thrill of the ride that James loves. He's proud to be among the 102 master reef guides working throughout the Great Barrier Reef. We're out there guiding guests that have come from all corners of the world. Some have experienced the Great Barrier Reef before, some have snorkeled before, some have never seen the ocean before. And I think we're in this amazing position where we've had a high level of training. You've got this beautiful beach along here. That beach, guys, we're starting to see turtle nests at this time of the year. Millions of people that come to the reef every single year, we can send them home having had the most amazing experience, but also taking a bit of a message home as to why this place is so important and why it's so worth protecting. Tongue Bay, guys, is our spot for our water quality monitoring. So, guys, we've been monitoring the actual water quality in here for the last couple of years, contributing that data back there to the marine park, um, which in turn is helping aid the management. Tourism and science, ironically, really should go hand in hand because the scientists who have this unbelievable knowledge and they're, they're focusing on certain things, they're, a lot of time is spent researching and in the lab. But who's on the reef every single day? Well, it's us as tourism operators and who sees the changes, be it good or bad, and that is us as tourism operators. And it's really exciting time that um, we're able to work with some lead scientists that are exploring some really exciting things and for us to be able to be involved and learn it, but also I think we're in a position to be able to really help as well. In my opinion, tourism is the best thing for the reef, all right, guys? You only care about things you've experienced and you only protect things you care about, right? So let's get you in there to do that, but I ask that you do everything today to look after this amazing place. I'm, I'm really proud of is our citizen science product Reef Seeker that engages the eye on the reef monitoring method rapid monitoring with the school curriculum and our daily guests that come out to the reef you know this information we collect as simple as it is all holds a lot of really important information and that information is fed straight back to the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority the government agency that protect the reef and ultimately they can make changes through the information we give saw a turtle here, fantastic, I can love that information and I mean that might not seem like too much but we were talking about turtles just before and how they lay their eggs and the changes that we're seeing in the climate and what that might be doing to the different um, population and the sexes and things so there's, everything tells a story. So being able to bring something like that to the Sundays and to ocean rafting with our amazing team has been really really rewarding and for me I think that's the thing I'm most proud of um, with what we do out on the reef.
If you want to explore the Whit Sundays with the Ocean Rafting crew, just head to their website to book a trip or to visit anywhere along our iconic reef, head to queensland.com.au. After the break. This is what we're here for. This is, I mean, this is the dream. And uh, we're here living it. That's next on My Way.